गुड इवनिंग कंटिन्यूइंग विथ लास्ट वीडियो ऑफ डायनामिक कंडीशनल को रिलेशन इन दिस वीडियो आई डिस्कस अबाउट हाउ टू कैलकुलेट और हाउ टू फोरकास्ट डायनामिक कंडीशनल को रिलेशन एज वेल एज हाउ टू कैलकुलेट विद इन द सैम्पल डायनामिक कंडीशनल को रिलेशन एंड को वेरियंस देर फोर बिफोर गोइंग थ्रू दिस वीडियो kindly go to last video of dynamic conditional correlation i have saved the value of dynamic conditional correlation in the name of fit 1 so simply if i write fit 1 then i get pcc value which includes univariate alpha and beta as well as dcc alpha and beta and entire things has been already discussed in last video of dynamic conditional correlation so now if i write dcc forecast it means that is the command of forecast of dynamic conditional correlation and then i write here fit 1 comma n dot ahead and let's suppose n dot ahead is 5 it simply means i'm going to forecast next five observation of dynamic conditional correlation and then if i press enter i get the value of different five dcc like uh, dcc of uh, first period it means day 1 so that is 0.011 similarly day 2 0.014 and similarly we get the value of uh, 0 uh, you can say day 3 day 4 as well as day 5 now this is about my forecasting of dcc so instead of even 5 days like uh, in this command n dot ahead i have write written 5 so instead of writing 5 if i write 10 it means i'll be getting the 10 observation of forecast right so that is about forecasting now let me talk about how to calculate the within the sample correlation for that i am going to save in cor1 equal to r c o r it means that is my conditional correlation and then fit one and enter now this uh, within the sample dynamic conditional correlation has been saved in cor1 let me check what are the things included in this cor1 so if i write here dim it means dimension and then cor1 and then enter so three things are there our matter of concern is this 1989 what does it mean this 1989 because this 1989 is nothing but uh, number of dynamic conditional correlation so i have 1989 observation therefore i'll be getting 1989 dynamic conditional correlation so let me get this value like uh, by writing cor1 and then capital bracket double comma dim and then my cor1 and then i write here 3 and then enter so what i got i got the dynamic conditional correlation of one day like that is 0.017 similarly if i want to save this entire 1989 dynamic conditional correlation then how to save that so i'm going to save in by writing like cor and then r mexico because the series is my return on mexico which is r mexico and then equal to cor1 
capital bracket and then 2 comma 1 comma what does it mean this 2 comma 1 it means this 2 means second row and 1 means first column so I am talking about R max co that is first column and then this 2 is nothing but second row and then enter it means I have got here COR underscore R max co which is nothing but 1989 dynamic conditional correlation if I want to see the figure of it then simply I write plot dot ts and then cor r max co and then enter so this is my plot or you can say figure of dcc dynamic correlation and that is 1989 observation similarly in dcc there is covariance I can save or even I can see the covariance also. I'm going to write like COV1 equal to RCOV and then fit 1 enter. It means now my covariance has been saved. So again even in this covariance I'll be finding three different dimensions. So I'm going to save that is uh, 1989 covariance by writing cov underscore r max co equal to cov1 then capital bracket 2 comma 1 comma it means again the second row of covariance and first column of covariance and then enter now I have saved covariance of R max co. If I want to see the figure of this, simply I write uh, plot dot ts and then cov underscore R max co. And let me change the color. Now I am going to get the color, and that is color equal to green enter so now this is my figure of covariance so that is all about dynamic conditional correlation i hope you like it thank you very much